Good afternoon everyone. I'm back once again so I get ready to do another video and this is going to be another video game update video and before I get into uh, which games I got this time around I will say that this is probably going to be the biggest video game update video I've ever done on my channel because I got so many games today I don't even know where to begin. So much so that it took me not one, not two, but three bags. Yeah, this is a lot. And uh, I'll start with, uh, yeah, I'll start with uh, the the smallest bag first. Alright, first up that I got today is NES Remix Pack. This is a game I got at GameStop or EB Games as they call it up here in Canada. And uh, here's the uh, spine for the game. And there's the back. And while I'm at it, I will... Uh, unbox this here I cannot wait to play this game on my Wii U so I've heard some great things about this game so I figured I would get out well get it there we are Ugh, there. Now, we saw what the front looks like. There's uh, the disc. And uh, very uh, retro like, as they've got an NES style thing there on the disc. NES style cartridge there on the disc. We've got the 8 bit versions of Mario, Link, and I don't know who that third person is. But anyway, that's NES Remix Pack on the Wii U. Uh, next, the first of two bags. And we've got some Super Nintendo games in here. Starting with Super Mario Kart. This was the game that started the Mario Kart series. And this is a lot of fun. It's definitely a must-have if you own a Super Nintendo. So, yeah, Super Mario Kart. And then the other Super Nintendo game I got is Tetris Attack. Now, this game is, uh, it's kind of like Pokemon Puzzle League on the N64. Or, actually, I think this game was the inspiration for Pokemon Puzzle League on the N64, where you have to build up chains and all that. I've never played this game before, but I think I'm going to give it a shot. So there we go. Tetris Attack for the Super Nintendo. Now, uh, next up we have a game here for the NES. And it is DuckTales. Woohoo! Now, this is a classic game on the NES. Capcom. Really made some great stuff back in the day here. Uh, you cannot go wrong with Disney's DuckTales for the Nintendo Entertainment System. I think I'm definitely going to have to, uh, I think I'm definitely going to give this game a try. And I'm looking forward to this. Now they also came out with a DuckTales remastered a couple of years ago, which I have on Nintendo Wii U. Now on that version, on the Wii U version of this, I... I have made it to the last boss, but I've not, uh, but I've not beaten them. But even if I never get around to beating the last boss on the Wii U version, the fact that I at least that I made it to at least the end of the game is uh, to more or less the end of the game is good enough for me.
Now, uh, what else? Uh, let's see. There's also some uh, N64 games in here. The Legend of Zelda, yes, I decided to get this one. And, uh, and this, as you can see, this is the uh, gray cart version of it, not the uh, gold cart. It's a classic game. Then uh, we've got Rampage World Tour. This is uh, another great game. So this is going to be a lot of fun. And next we've got Mario Tennis. Mario Tennis! Woohoo! This is definitely a lot of fun. I would definitely recommend this game. Then we've got Pokemon Snap. This one is uh, taking photos of Pokemon and all that stuff. It's, an okay, it's a pretty good Pokemon game, I guess. Then uh, we've got WWF Warzone, which is a wrestling game. Alright, and then uh, we've got WWF Attitude, another wrestling game. And we've got Toy Story 2. This, of course, is based off the movie of the Disney Pixar movie of Toy Story 2. And the last N64 game is Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. So this is a pretty cool game. So that's eight N64 games. And one more bag. Which has some Game Boy games in it. Three of them are boxed. And three others are loose. Uh, here, the uh, loose ones. Uh, Wheel of Fortune. This is, of course, based off the popular game show. Then we've got Paperboy. This is a classic. This is also on the NES, by the way, along with uh, it's on, also on NES, Super NES, Sega Genesis, and N64. Then we've got Tetris. Yep. Then we've also got The Lion King, which is a great game. Then we've got Donkey Kong Land, which I guess is the uh, Game Boy version of uh, Donkey Kong Country. And then uh, finally we've got Disney's Aladdin, based off the movie. And the Lion King one is a game is based off the movie as well. So those are the six Game Boy games. And now finally, the PlayStation 1 games. We've got who wants to be a millionaire? Second edition. Now there's a price sticker on here that says $69.99. I did not pay $69.99 for this, don't worry. And then of course the third edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire for the PlayStation. Now, oh dear. I had a Super Game Boy in here too, but I guess I left it at the store. Oh well, I'll uh... I'll have to go back and get it the uh, next time. But I'll have to go back another time and get it. But for right now, we're, uh, cause, uh, I mean, because I already was out like all day today. I am not going all the way back there right now. But 
that is uh, going to do it for this video. So all together, that's a total of, let's see, we have, all together we have, how many do we have all together? 8 and 64, 16 boy games, so that's 14. Two PlayStations, so that's 16. Two Super Nintendo, one NES, and one Wii U. So that's a total of 20 games in this video. That is a lot. See you all again very soon.